Housing First has five key principles. If you're not following the five principles, it's not Housing First. Principle number one, immediate access to housing with no housing readiness conditions. Participants meet with the support team once per week, but housing is not dependent on psychiatric treatment, abstinence, or other readiness conditions. And when we say no housing readiness conditions, we mean none. Now many participants stay housed in their first rental, but evictions happen. With the support team's help, it's an opportunity for learning, adjusting, and the immediate chance to try again. Research shows Housing First reduces emergency room visits, hospitalization, shelter use, detox services, and incarceration. There are no common indicators that predict who Housing First will and won't work for. So given its effectiveness, let's focus on Housing First, then let participants tell us the next step. Principle number two, consumer choice and self-determination. This principle highlights that participants want and can make productive change occur in their lives. But in order to thrive, meaningful housing options are a necessity and research shows that a majority of participants prefer independent market housing throughout the city. Now in order to foster learning and self-determination, it's important that the team support most choices participants make. Though the team can point out expectations, they should avoid overprotecting participants from learning opportunities. When choices have poor outcomes, a supported learning environment promotes more informed choices in the future, reducing long-term harm and increasing self-sustainability. Principle number three, recovery orientation. People are more likely to do well and achieve personal goals when they have an opportunity to find their own recovery. Housing First relies on supporting people as they work at their pace towards self-defined goals, whether it's treatment, returning to work, or reconnecting with family. The addition of peer workers on the support team addresses power dynamics, increases safety, and models hope for both participants and team members. Finally, by building, following, and reviewing strength-based recovery plans, the support team can spend less time managing crisis and more time on the steps that lead to the participants' goals for recovery. Principle number four, individualized and person-driven supports. Now, support is meant to fit the participant, not the other way around. People are at the center of Housing First. Therefore, the support team provides appropriate team members, approach and tools that help each individual with their goals. Whether that's grocery shopping, working, adopting a pet, finances, therapy, or engaging with new communities. By replacing complicated policies with flexible models and a can-do philosophy, the team helps participants reduce long-standing systemic barriers, thereby improving self-determination, choice, and quality of life. Principle number five, social and community integration. Moving to a new area can be a hard experience for anyone and can make you feel pretty isolated and lonely. The Housing First team can help participants build community connections based on their specific needs and interests. The team also fosters community development by providing landlords and community members with education on Housing First, inclusion, and myth-busting negative stereotypes. And though supporting social and community integration may take time, it can go a long way in helping participants establish relationships and support networks within new communities.